Where's Gabriella? Watch what I can do. Thanks for joining us with Sid the Science Kid. A cavity is a hole in your tooth by Jim Henson. A cavity is a hole in your tooth. Good morning, Sid. Oh, hi. I have a problem with this whole teeth brushing thing. Mom and Dad keep telling me I have to brush my teeth twice a day. Twice. Sid thinks brushing his teeth is a lot of work. I have to brush my teeth and rinse and brush my gums and brush my tongue and then rinse again. Ha! Huh. I've got to know what would happen if I just didn't brush my teeth. Sid, breakfast time! Sid races into the kitchen. Breakfast? Good morning, Sid, Mom says. Sid tells his mom he wants his favorite sugary cereal. And it's okay, but you can eat it. But when you're finished, you have to brush really well, Mom says. But Sid has an announcement to make. I am tired of brushing my teeth. Excuse me? Sid's mom and dad can't believe their ears. Brushing your teeth is really important, dad says. Here, I'll show you why. Sid's dad shows him just a few of the foods he can eat with strong teeth. Carrots, apples, cereal, Sid sees his dad's point, sort of. This sounds like something to investigate at school. Sid is excited to see his friends at school. Gabriella, Gerald, and May are waiting for him on the playground. Sid asks the question of the day. Do you like brushing your teeth? I'm roving reporter Sid with today's survey. I do with my special purple toothbrush, answers Gabriella. Gerald shows Sid how he likes to brush his teeth up and down on an angle. But when broccoli gets stuck in my teeth, brushing's hard, Gerald says. May shows Sid the spot where she just lost a tooth. I like brushing in the empty spot so it stays clean, May says. Is Sid the only person who doesn't think brushing is great? Maybe teacher Susie can help them learn more. Come on in. We've got a lot to learn today, teacher Susie sings. The kids take their seats. What's on your mind today? Teacher Susie asks. Why do we have to brush every day? Sid responds. Teacher Susie holds up a picture with some teeth on it. One tooth has a black stain. A cavity? Teacher Susie explains how cavities form. If you don't brush your teeth, bacteria can grow on the food that's left behind. Does it hurt to have a cavity? May ask. Cavities can hurt, teacher Susie explains. But once the dentist repairs your tooth, it will feel better. Teeth have lots to do. They work hard. They help us chew, Gerald says. And crunch and munch, Gabriella adds. Sid wonders how teeth do all that. Teacher Susie says, let's 
go to the Superfab lab to investigate. Teacher Susie explains that the best way to see what teeth actually do and how they work is to look at them. She hands out little mirrors like dentists use. The front teeth are called in scissors. Next to the scissors are the canines. The teeth way to the back are called molars. She brings out a tray with some food. Now let's explore our teeth and find out their different jobs. Teacher Susie says, when you eat something soft like banana, you use your front or incisor teeth. When you bite into something hard or crunchy like a carrot, you use your side or canine teeth. Once you have bitten through something crunchy, you chew it up with your back or molar teeth. The kids use their journals to show how teeth work. I ate a piece of banana using my front teeth, said Gabriella. Then I bit into an apple with my canine teeth. I chewed them with my back teeth. Sid noted that teeth are different shapes. I used the mirror and saw that my front teeth are shaped like squares, Sid said. My side teeth are pointy, and my back teeth are square with teeny tiny bumpy heels all over them. Those teeny tiny bumps break down food. Our teeth work so hard to chew our food, May says. Clean teeth are healthy teeth. So that is why you've got to brush them every day. Don't worry, teeth. I'll take good care of you, says Sid. How else can you keep your teeth healthy? By visiting the dentist? Sid and his friends are playing pretend. Gerald is the dentist and May is the patient. Welcome to your checkup, says Dr. Gerald. Dentists go to school, dental school, where they learn how to keep kids' teeth clean and healthy. At the dentist's office, the dentist will clean your teeth with a special electric brush and make sure all your teeth are strong. Teacher Susie has a surprise for the kids. To for the kids, toothbrushes. Now Sid and his friends know how to have healthy teeth for chewing and munching and crunching, and you do too. Just get a toothbrush and brush, brush, brush. Teacher Susie showed Sid and his friends which teeth are used to chew different types of foods. Here are some more examples. And scissor teeth in the front are thin and sharp so that they can slice into food like banana, watermelon, cheese, hamburger, molar teeth in the back have ridges for bumps so that they can grind down food. Some cut up or, or bite-sized foods can be popped into your mouth directly to the molars, molars for breaking down. Raisins, nuts, grapes. Canine side teeth are prior, pointy and narrow so that they can grip food like carrot, pickles, nutty chocolate bar, pretzel stick, celery. Fun facts. Kids have 20 teeth. They are called baby teeth. Around age six, baby teeth start to fall out. Adults have 32 teeth. You know how the inside of your mouth is always kind of wet? That wet stuff is called saliva. It helps break down the chewed up food so that you can swallow it. Brushing your teeth at least twice daily, in the morning and before you go to sleep, and visiting the dentist twice yearly are the best way to keep your teeth clean. Sid the Kid has some tips for toothbrushing. Sid the Science Kid tips for toothbrushing. 
Squeeze a small amount of fluoride toothpaste onto a soft bristle toothbrush, starting with the outside surface of the last top tooth. Place your toothbrush at the spot where the tooth meets the gum. Angle your toothbrush at 45 degrees. Gently, using short back and front brushing motions, wiggle the toothbrush 10 times. Move to the next two teeth and repeat. Continue into all of the outside surfaces are clean, top and bottom. Now clean the inside of your teeth in the same way. Clean your front teeth, tilting the toothbrush vertically and sweeping it up and down. Brush your tongue to remove any bacteria that might cause bad breath. Spit out all of the toothpaste and rinse with water. Give yourself a big smell in the mirror. You just brushed your teeth. Ask your dentist for help with toothbrushing and flossing too. Thanks for reading along with me. All about teeth with Sid the Science Kid. May you continue to have a beautiful and bountiful day filled with lots of blossoms.